some day for you. Um, under 18s win, still another chance of winning their league, uh, and a win for the the men's team uh, against St Johnson this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, it's been a positive day yeah, for sure. Obviously, the the game here, my focus was was firmly on that. So, um, along with obviously Craig Sampson, who's who, who did a great job today as well. So, no, we're really pleased, obviously, to to get another three points. To get the performance in the second half um, that we got, to obviously the chances created, and just the control we had in the game, we were we were pleased overall. Yeah. No one wants to be finishing in the bottom half of the table, but the players look in a much happier place at the moment. Some of the quality of football today could have produced maybe three or four goals. Yeah, that's that's what we felt. I think first half was a, a more even game, but we did still create uh, one or two opportunities. Um, as the day, but I think the second half, the opportunities we create with a good quality of play uh, was excellent and, and ultimately we, we probably should have taken one or two of their chances and, and been more comfortable in the game. Um, we didn't, we scored the goal, um, got the penalty and, and the main focus then was to make sure that we kept that clean sheet which we've been doing the last sort of two, three games, so really pleased with that and to get the three points and uh, uh, get the clean sheet, it's really pleasing. Yeah, the clean sheets are incredible. I think that's four maybe in the last six league games. And of course it means, fairly obviously, that, that one goal is enough as it was today, as it was last week. Could it be more today? Yeah. But it takes the pressure off scoring, doesn't it? It does. Listen, it gives you uh, the platform to go and win games. It's it's you know that simple. And that's not just back forward and goalkeeper. That's... Um, that's the team working, uh, working together f from front to back. So yeah, get the platform. We've got players with quality in there that are always going to create chances. So uh, we'll manage to do that today, and, and uh, we'll look to take similar form. Obviously, going into the last three games. How important has the cup semi-final been? Ultimately, a losing semi-final in the shootout, but what a performance that was, and and, it, and it, Aberdeen seemed to have kicked on from there. I think so. Yeah, I think. Uh, I say since obviously Pete's kind of taken over, you know, he's got a kind of clear philosophy of how he wants the game played, um, and and the players have all bought into that. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we can kind of continue on in that run of uh, run of form that we're on. And yeah, when you look back at the Celtic game, I think I think the players do take uh, quite a bit out of that game. That said, obviously we never won uh, won the fixture, but um, the performance was, as you say, was uh, was very positive. All you can do is win the bottom half of the league um, and you're you're on track to do that now just a point behind Hibs yeah listen we just need to take the next game as it comes and hopefully Pete's back in the training pitch and uh, organising them um, and yeah we want to win we want to win uh, nine points out of nine if we possibly can well done to the staff and the players good day all round Scott yep I appreciate that Rob all the best cheers thanks thank you